and we are back at it. <laughs> Everyone's favorite store. Ale? Boomer. Got your mask? Actually, I did this time. <laughs> I didn't grab it. So I was lucky enough to get my hair cut this week. Hill? Still going strong. <laughs> Still going strong. Got the lockdown beard. Anyways, we're going to build a flamethrower today. I mean, we got the potato gun. It shoots good flames, but... I always thought, what if we just ran gas through a pressure washer? <laughs> That's just something I've always thought about, you know. I'm sitting at home, I'm not doing much. Couldn't sleep last night because that's all I could thought about. So we're going to pick one up today, do it, and then return it after. <laughs> oh, thank God Walmart does not care about returns. Here we go. <laughs> we found it. This one's on sale too. I'm guessing it was already a return. Let's do this. Now we gotta get some gas for this thing. I'm thinking 15 liters of regular. We'll throw in five liters of diesel just to slow down the process. Can't believe how much gas is getting. This is per liter, guys, not per gallon. There's 3.8 liters in a gallon. Let the diesel flow. You can mix gas and diesel, right? Won't explode. <laughs> I think we are due for a new flag. Oh, this is a big medium, eh? Yeah, yeah, fit. Carhartt's fit big. I'm large and everything, but I'm medium and Carhartt. Wow. Or maybe I did give you a large. I can't remember. Yeah, Looking fresh, medium. Hill. This is a big medium. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a large then. Okay. Looking good. Keeping her class. Anyways, we picked up this Karsher pressure washer. And ugh, it's heavy. So I, I'm guessing someone... Is it large? Yeah, it's large? Okay, I'm guessing someone already returned this, judging by that. And it was uh, it was on for half price, so as you can see, it was two forty eight Canadian, and they marked it down to one twenty nine. So, and these were all ripped and stuff. So, someone probably you know they already beat us to it. You know they probably already made their own flamethrower. So my freaking fingers are cracking. They never crack. Anyways, I got fifteen liters of gas, five liters of diesel. I don't know why I did that. It just seemed exciting. No, I got excited with the debit card. Just also, gotta get what you can get. Also bought a lottery ticket. If we win Hill, you got 10 bucks. 10 bucks? 10 bu How about I will pay your Tim Hortons ice caps for life? For life? For life. I'm getting one every day then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, open this thing up and see what we can do and see if we can make a big old frame. Every time Bro, we're together, I'm just going to order one and then I'm going to in front of you just dump it out. This is all he's going to talk about the rest of the day. Just ice caps. Ice craps. Here we go. Yeah, all right, so this is the hose we're going to use. Just a regular old garden hose. We got the pressure washer out. It's actually still in the plastic, so... Kind of looked like someone ripped it open, never used it. Realized it was just a shitty electric pressure washer, but... We're going to see how she goes. So Hell's just grabbing an extension cord so we don't have to be too close to the shop. Looks like the wind is going that way. So we'll point it that way. And uh, yeah, this is our mixture concoction. 94 mixed, except it's not mixed. Well, technically it's mixed, but it is just mixed with gas and diesel. So the fun part is gonna be siphoning the fuel into the hose, but uh, shouldn't be too bad. I'll put the fuel on top of my tonneau cover, so. Gravity pulls it and works its way down. So, I don't know where Hill is, but I'm excited. Let's melt some snow. This is the worst part of it, siphoning the gas out. Luckily there's water in the hose, so I'm hoping it'll kind of help start. Basically you gotta suck enough gas to get over the top kinks there, and then it should start flowing by itself if there's no kinks. Gravity, kids. This is your your uh, your science project for today. Don't show your teacher though. You don't want to get gas in your mouth either. This is just water. So. Another way you can do it too is if you put a whole bunch of hose in the gas tank, and then you just put your hand over the end, and you pull it out real fast. That creates a suction uh, suction too. But. Physics with Mark Freeman. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna try and drain the water back a little. And then drop and suck real fast. There's a joke in there somewhere. Just 
coming. There it is. There it is. So that's still water coming out. So I pinched it so there's technically still suction. Oh yeah, the gas tank went down. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll start this. We'll start with uh, just shooting water out of it. And then once uh, I smell gas, then we'll light her up. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna are you gonna light this now? Yeah. Uh, I'll light it in a second. Yeah, let's do this. So usually with pressure washers, obviously there's pressure behind the hose. So I don't know if this is actually gonna work. <laughs> No gas, but I don't see that going down anymore. Another thing we can do too is siphon it until the gas gets to the end of the hose, and then basically plug the hose back into the wall, and then the water pressure will blow it. You'd have a quick, quick flamethrower at that point. Yeah. But you'd get something. So it's there. It's there. Oh, that. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do that then. Let's clean the gas off my hand. The gas in the diesel. Unless there's anything we missed, Hill, did we miss anything? Let's check the manual on the back. Catch, catch, catch. Yeah, boom. All right. So this hose is full of gas right now, so it looks like I'm gonna have to plug that back into the wall. And we'll just use the, uh, the water pressure. For you? Oh my god, no, you drive me nuts. <laughs> That's a little pilot lighter. Hey, right, you ready? Oh, yeah. Tell you, Hill. It I works. I told you it worked. Uh, but yeah, I know you can do it with the gas pressure washer. You can just siphon uh, the gas out of the tank. You don't get as much pressure, but it still works. But obviously, we learned our lesson with the uh, with the electric one that you need a bit of pressure behind it. So, well, we still got freaking 15 liters to go. I think that was about five liters we did. Yeah. Yeah, there's 20. And then that's 16. That's weird. 4, 8, 12. I think they would go up by 5, so whatever. So yeah, we did about 5 liters there, so that's how much the hose fits. So too bad we don't have about 4 more hoses. 3 more hoses? Multiple if hoses. If you're pulling it, you're pulling right now to Snapchat me. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I just care. You do what you want. <laughs> Alright. I wasn't, but now I'm gonna. <laughs> So the nice part is now is this this uh, hose is filled with water. So when we put it back in the tank and I take the end off, 
it should automatically suck out gas so I don't have to put my lips on there and act like a well you know the weird side of the internet <laughs> but all right let's do that get her hooked up again and uh keep her going you want to do this time Phil? I'm good you sure yeah I'm good. hey let's put the turbo nozzle on this time it came with a uh a rotating head <laughs> yeah so I don't know if it'll make too much of a difference but yeah I did the diesel too so it burns a little slower but I don't know if it really makes a difference but uh yeah let's do it Let's do it. Let's do it. So this is the rotating head it came with. As you can see, it just basically does circles. The end spins a little bit. All right, let's, uh, let's siphon more and uh, we're gonna light the barn on fire. Ready for round two? Oh yeah. We got the drone up now. So. Halfway done. Oh, oh. Man, that's hot. I was standing pretty far away and I was so hot. Yeah, the turbo nozzle doesn't shoot as far, it just shoots wider, which is cool, but it was like, I was burning my face. <laughs> oh. All right, let's land the drone and uh, I think we got two more tries. It's really weird that it's just constantly circling us. Yeah, I, I, said it I feel like I always have eyes on me. It does have eyes on It's the government. So, but yeah, when we were siphoning, uh, when we were siphoning the gas, we did accidentally dump some water in there. So, well, and there's diesel mixed in with that gas. So it's not like we could use that fuel for anything else. So I'm going to land the drone and uh, we'll get this thing going again. The Skydio 2 drone, the best drone you can ever have because it follows you way better than any other drone I've owned. And yeah, it just comes with the beacon. It'll either follow the beacon or your phone. So if 
My issue always was I had a drone, but no one else knew how to fly it. So I could film my friends, but I couldn't get shots myself. So, but she works amazing. And it comes with a remote if you do want to fly it manually. So, all right, let's go uh, round three and four and burn the rest of that gas. What are we at, round three? Three. We got four rounds in us, so keep her going. Uh, keeping the turbo nozzle on too, because why not, right? Water, water. Yeah, off the rest of the gas then we're gonna get out of here and do another another sled video because it's supposed to rain saturday and sunday and be like plus 10 so the river is gonna explode and the snow is gonna be a gown though was that hot was that as hot for you as it was for me hotter hotter <laughs> okay round four Breathe it in. Round four. We got a kick? No. Oh, you gotta turn the water on. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Oh man, we got a leak. We should return it. Yeah, it's leaking. I think it's time to return it to Walmart. <laughs> Apparently that's very hot. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I wouldn't suggest doing it, but you know, you do you. You do you. So uh, yeah, gasoline's very dangerous. As you can see, you can definitely hurt yourself. So maybe just watch the video and not try to reenact it. But, uh, said you do you so thank you guys for watching get excited for some more sledding videos and uh yeah then it's car jumping season so don't do anything we wouldn't do we'll see you later <laughs>